Tonight, a local hockey team takes the ice for the first time since losing one of their own. The Bristol Plymouth Regional Technical High School hockey team, where 16 year old Dylan Quinn was a goalie, had a game tonight. Quinn was killed in a car crash last weekend in Berkeley. Since then, the hockey community has really come together to support his family. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez spoke to the team's head coach. He joins us now from outside of the ice rink. Tonight's matchup was simply bigger than the game itself, with the arena being at full capacity with friends, family members and other fans all gathering to show their support for the Quinn family. After Monday's game was canceled, the Southeastern Bristol Plymouth hockey team took the ice to honor their late friend and teammate Dylan Quinn. They're doing better there. You know, it's taking some time. It's a it's it'll be a long, a long road for them, but they seem to be doing a lot better. They all wanted to play. The Rehoboth teenager died in a car accident last Sunday after police say the vehicle he was a passenger in crashed into a telephone pole and a tree before rolling over on Myrick Street in Berkeley. People flooded the ice arena in Raynham Saturday night with pictures, assigned posters and much more as the ceremonial puck drop took place with Dylan's younger brother at center ice. Uh, we put him in some big games last year. He was fantastic, uh, but you know, it's kind of the heartbeat of the team too. Coach Mark Cabral said Dylan was a focused and dedicated player that really enjoyed the game. As a person, goofball, the first thing I asked the guys was, I bet you he does a good Coach Cabral impression, and they all laughed. The younger kids looked at each other like, oh no, and the older kids laughed and said, yeah, he does coach. So I know he's got that kind of character. It's just what we like. The Hawks wore their gray shell jerseys embroidered with Dylan's initials and jersey number as both teams honor him. Just both teams, I hope they play a real hard game that he'd like them to play. So that's that's what we're hoping and that's for the opposition and us just to have a good hockey game tonight. There is a GoFundMe page set up for the Quinn family and right now they are close to $70,000 raised in less than a week. This will no doubt contribute to other efforts to remember Dylan Quinn. Reporting in Raynham, Joe Cortez, 12 News.